Hey guys, thanks for watching this video and stopping by my channel. I am bringing you along today as I deep clean my kitchen as fast as I can. This is a routine that I don't get to very often, but it was definitely needed at this time. I started out by cleaning my Keurig, and what I did first was take out all of the removable parts and threw them in some hot, soapy water to soak. I then took a wet cloth and got in all of the crevices and cleaned up every little part that I could. Once all the parts were done soaking, I scrubbed them a little bit, dried them off, and put everything back. To clean the inside of the Keurig, I put half water and half distilled white vinegar in the reservoir tank and ran it like normal, like I was brewing a cup of coffee. The vinegar cleans the whole inside of the Keurig. Once I was done with the vinegar and water running through it, I filled the reservoir tank back up with just water and kept running it until I no longer smelled vinegar. Next up was cleaning my microwave. It actually wasn't too bad, but I had some crumbs and marinara sauce that was stuck on the walls. To clean it, I put half white vinegar and half water in a microwavable safe container and then ran the microwave for about seven minutes. You can do it five to 10 minutes. Then when it was all done, all I had to do was easily wipe everything down. It was so simple and easy and I barely had to scrub. Here's my dirty, dirty stove. I kind of hate my glass top stove because it so easily get stuff stuck on it. Just a little water boiling over and it's a pain to clean. I first sprinkled baking soda all over the stove top and then got paper towels wet with water and Dawn dish soap. I then layered the damp paper towels on top of the baking soda and let it sit for about 15 minutes or longer depending on how bad it is. I then moved on to cleaning the top of my cabinets. This is a chore that I only get done probably once a year, if that. I just took a microfiber cloth and wiped all of the dust and dirt up. It was so dirty up there. I didn't do this this particular time, but I heard a good tip is to put wax paper on top of the cabinets so they are easy to clean each and every time. I then moved on to wiping down the outside of the cabinets and the handles. And to clean this, I just used my own all-purpose spray that is just um, a tablespoon of Dawn dish soap and water. Once I was done cleaning the cabinets, I then went back to the top of the stove and wiped all of the baking soda up.
To clean inside the crevices between the counter and the stove, I like to get a wet paper towel or a Clorox wipe, wrap it around a butter knife, and then use it to get into all of those nooks and crannies. To clean my sink, I use Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser and give it a good scrub. I use my all-purpose spray to wipe down the table and then the chairs because with my two-year-old daughter, those chairs get so, so dirty. So I had plenty of things to scrub down. And this is me taking a dancing break because I had some really good tunes playing and a good song came on and this is what I needed to do. You have to have a little fun when you're cleaning. Then I wiped everything down, like the counters and the appliances, and I used Mrs. Meyer's Multi-Service Everyday Cleaner, the lavender scent, and I love this stuff, guys. I can use it on so many areas in my kitchen and house. Before I mopped, I had to vacuum and I used my Dyson vacuum, which I love. They don't make this model anymore, um, but it, it does a very, very good job and gets up all of the dog and cat hair and dirt that we have on in our floor. My floors needed a good mopping and I've been using this method squirt and mop. Um, it has an almond scent, smells amazing, and I use my shark steam mop, which I've done a video on. I will link that down below a review on my shark steam mop. I love that as well. I felt like I wanted to do some extra deep cleaning on the floor right where my dog walks in and out from the backyard, so I got on my hands and knees and scrubbed that area. Towards the end of my cleaning routines, I like to use some disinfecting wipes on light switches and door handles, main touch points that we always touch. 
After cleaning nonstop for an hour and a half, I was able to successfully deep clean the outside of my kitchen. Having a set list of things that I needed to accomplish, as well as having all of the cleaning supplies readily available, I deep cleaned my kitchen faster than I ever have before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I still need to deep clean the inside of my kitchen, like my oven, dishwasher, and fridge, so if you want to see that, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I will see you guys next time.